And we begin with a story that is new tonight at 6. We know the Tesla factory in South Buffalo was expensive, but it is probably even more pricey than you thought. And we're about to see the real price tag. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. The company is also on a hiring binge right now with an important deadline just 11 weeks away. We get the story tonight from investigative reporter Steve Brown. Our Tesla update tonight includes some numbers we think may be new to you. You've probably heard lots of times that the South Buffalo Gigafactory costs $750 million. That's not right. Hat tip to the Buffalo News for first reporting this. State documents list the price of the factory and the land that it's on at $660 million, significantly under that $750 million number. But the state also bought the manufacturing equipment inside the plant. That cost almost $300 million, so altogether, the Tesla factory cost more than $958 million, just short of a billion dollars, all supplied by New York State taxpayers. If you've been holding Tesla stock, good for you. Since reporting a profitable fourth quarter for 2019, the price has been rocketing upwards. Tesla shares fueling those NASDAQ gains and Tesla stock went wild. And shares of Tesla are surging 20% today. Tesla shares soared nearly 50% on Monday. Tesla shares powering higher. Tesla shares rose more than 10% on Thursday, making the company worth more than Ford, General Motors, and Fiat Chrysler combined. In one year's time, Tesla stock is up almost 150%. And while the iron is hot, Tesla is striking, announcing today that it's going to sell another $2 billion worth of stock to raise a little money. And this for Elon Musk fans, he is coming to the South Buffalo factory in a tweet last week. He announced a company talk will be held at the factory in April and there will be tours. There's not been a lot of access to the plant. I got into the factory years ago before it was completed. Almost a year and a half ago, Two On Your Side's Melissa Holmes got in as part of a very limited media tour with no cameras allowed. But she took notes and this is what she saw. It looked like they just really started getting to work. You know, you kind of wanted to see things roughed up a little bit and see things that looked like they were really busy, but instead, Everything was very shiny and very new, and there was a lot of unused space. Just last week, Mayor Brown and some other elected officials got a private factory tour. The mayor tweeting 1,100 people now work at the plant. Today, Mayor Brown added this. And to see the number of people working uh, and the diversity of people working uh, was very impressive. Uh, certainly gives me a great sense of confidence. The mayor there is talking about his confidence that Tesla will meet its hiring target in its deal with the state. Tesla has to have 1,460 employees by April 30th. Failure to do that would mean that Tesla would owe the state $41 million in a penalty. But again, Mayor Brown, based on what he saw inside last week, is confident that Tesla will meet the hiring target. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.